fourth season of Tough as Nails underway right now on CBS2, already streaming on Paramount Plus as well. The inspiring competition brings together 12 of the top essential workers in the country, showing off their skills at real job sites for the chance to win some cash prizes and the bragging rights of being the winner of Tough as Nails. And joining us now in the studio is the man behind it all, the creator, host, and showrunner, Phil Keegan. Phil, thanks for being with us here in Chicago. This is I, a treat. I love it, and thanks for not making it too cold here. I, you know, I love Chicago. <laughs> I think it's one of the prettiest cities in the world, I got to say. Every time I come back here and I see the buildings and the architecture, it's I'm beautiful. just like, I love it here. So. Well, yeah, glad nice you're here in person. We, yeah. You know, for so many years, we've been talking to you via Zoom, so it's just nice to have you in person. Yeah, Absolutely. I've been lucky enough to come through Chicago a few times before for various projects I've the done. Amazing and, race you came, came Yeah, before. and for my film, the, the Ride, and now, you know, being able to promote Tough as Nails and Tough as Nails, you know, it, like you said in your intro, is about the people that help to keep our country running. And certainly in Chicago, there's lots of men and women out there who are out making sure that the roads are clear, making sure that the trains run on time, making sure that we can flush our toilets and the lights go on when it's there's a big storms. Machine. And that's that's a really at its core. That's what we're really about is is real people in real life who are real tough. And it's perfect for Chicago. I mean, yes, yeah. it's a tough, gritty city. Absolutely. A big shoulder. This is a blue collar show. Absolutely. Of like your hard hat lunch pail. How'd yes. you come up with the concept? My, I, well, I come from working class people. You know, I have no royalty background. Uh, <laughs> but, um, my, my grandmother was worked in a factory. My, both my grandfathers, one was a carpenter, one was a mechanic. They, you know, did the hard yards and I'm proud of my family. You know, they're farmers and built fences and built infrastructure of countries and of, of, of New Zealand. And so I, I'd always worked me that some people would look down on, on people who did those jobs, who had cow on their, their hands. hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, who got up before, like you guys do, got up before the light, uh, before the sun comes up and just did that day in, day out, did the real hard yards, and yet had this passion for what they do. And you know what it's like when you call somebody to your house who's really, really good at what they do, whether they're unblocking your toilet or putting in tiles or helping to fix a, a leak in your roof, people who are really good with life skills. And there's lots of shows out there that are celebrating celebrity, and I get that. I get that we love celebrity. We want to know who they're dating and where they're going on holiday. <laughs> I get all of that. But this is about, let's put a spotlight on the real people, as I said before, real people in real life who are real tough, who maybe deserve, particularly after us coming through the pandemic, deserve a little pat on the back and maybe a little acknowledgement. So this show is for and about them. I love that. Okay, so lots of people want to be on a TV show. And especially, yeah. like you said, if it's somebody who might not get that recognition mm -hmm. a lot, talk, tell people who are watching what it goes into picking a cast. Like, what is that process like for you? Well, right now we've got, you know, one of my favorite characters is, is Jake. He's a pipeline worker. He actually goes way, way back. He, he auditioned for season one and he couldn't come on the show because of an injury and because of work requirements. And now we finally got him, in, you know, in season, in, in season four. Um, or Sinithia, who's a young woman who, who got into trouble early on at a young age and um, ended up in, in prison um, because of bank fraud and she's now turning her life around. She's like, you know, she says this great thing at the start of the show. She says, your past does not determine your future. Yes. So it's about second chances. Uh, Renee, who you see in the video, uh, all dressed in, in pink, she started a business um, with her sons, her young sons. They call her highlighter because she's always wearing pink. Um, <laughs> And so you hear like really heartfelt stories of Sergio, who's a, who's a foreman who helped to build the SoFi Stadium, one of the biggest construction sites in, in America. And these are people when they drive past that stadium, they look over at that stadium, they know that they were a part of building that. Love and pride. in Chicago, there are people like that, right? There are people who drive around with their kids, you know, moms and dads and aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters who look around and go, I was a part of building the foundation of that building, you know, and there's a pride. And, and I think we just need to recognize that, yes, education is power and you can get it from a building and you can get a degree, but education also comes in the form of life skills where people have spent a lifetime and 10,000 hours being really good with their number one set of tools, their hands and they can do things and fix things and they can keep our world running. There are people who have served for our country, firefighters who are prepared to run into burning buildings and save other people's lives. So I just feel like, you know, tough as nails, it's resonated right now definitely because of the pandemic because people have started maybe to think more mm -hmm. about who these men and women are. 
So we're, we're honoring them on this show, Tough as Nails. And what I, another cool part about the show, it's an individual and team competition. It's yes. not just one winner. I mean, everybody gets something out of it. So Yeah, the, we wanted to make sure that uh, just because somebody gets knocked out of the individual competition and can't be the Tough as Nails champion, that they stay for the entire season mm -hmm. because they're also an essential part of the team competition, which is mutually exclusive, a totally independent competition. Phil Keegan, thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah. Tough as Nails, great show. We're glad you could see it on CBS2 and, of course, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday nights on CBS. Yeah, it just aired last night. The cool thing about it, though, is Paramount+, Plus. it helps us. You can see it. Yeah, on if you demand. Can't watch it, that you definitely can watch it helps whenever. us out, right? I mean, you Especially can catch up. Especially if you have up. a weird schedule and stuff like we just talked about, it definitely helps like out. Us. Yeah, <laughs> we get that. We get it. All right, Phil, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me here.